Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. With curvature on the surface of the Earth, never ever seen or measured in the entire history of scientific discovery that has led us to believe we live on a globe, the sun setting is often instead cited as anecdotal evidence that we live on the outside of a spinning globe and see the sun setting and being cut off at the horizon because we are spinning away from a sun that's 93 million miles away. However, we can look at the sun and consider that what's happening is what we see and experience in everyday life on a level stationary earth with a light that is quite local to us moving across the sky and away from us and appearing to sink to the horizon because of perspective just like anything else that is above our line of sight will do when it goes off into the distance. In this screenshot I've highlighted the band of convergence that we can see when we look, look across a flat surface whether it's uh, water or land in the open air and we have a lot of things going on above the surface which cause this mirroring effect that we see between the two white lines here. So on the lower line is this hard apparent horizon that we see on the surface when we look across it and the lower we get to the surface, the closer that apparent horizon line will appear to be. But then beyond that, we get this place where we see mirroring. But of course, we'll only see mirroring if there is something on or above the surface. So when there's nothing there, then we don't see anything. That band of convergence isn't visible because it's really just reflecting the sky. Now this is something that will lead those who wish to defend their belief in the globe to claim that there is a dip at the horizon that goes below eye level because what happens is this band of convergence is at eye level when we look at straight ahead and we get this horizon line on the surface that is in fact lower than eye level. It's beyond that or above that in this kind of two-dimensional two picture that we see the convergence going on and when the Sun is above it then we get this mirroring or reflection which can also be considered as being due to diffraction. But whatever is actually happening, what we do see is the sun being cut off above the horizon line that we see on the surface. So it isn't geometric curvature that's cutting off the sun. It is exactly the same phenomenon that we see when something on or above the surface will cut off the sun. It could be something solid like a hill or a mountain or it can be clouds that appear to be on the horizon because they're far away but still close enough for the tops of the clouds to cut off the Sun. So we have a whole combination of possibilities and even if there are no clouds in the distance we have air that is increasingly dense the closer it is to the surface and of course the further that we look across the surface the denser and denser that already dense air is going to appear until light literally cannot pass through it just as we see the Sun getting cut off by clouds through which the sunlight does not pass through. Again this is something that we can see and just recognize with everyday observations. There is no need to do any kind of other mental gymnastics to assume that something else is happening especially when that's never been measured or, or observed in any scientific way. A common retort from Globe Earth defenders when we talk about perspective causing the Sun to set as it gets further away from us 
is this demand that the sun should change in angular size as it gets further away because that's what objects do. Well, yes, there's no denying that something like a ship or some kind of solid object that goes off into the distance will appear to get smaller and smaller. However, the sun is a light-emitting object, if it is an object at all, it might very well just be something that is quite intangible to us. The thing is, it is a complete mystery as to what the sun actually is. So why should we be making any assumptions that it would behave in the same way as a physical object on the Earth, when there's no doubt that it, whatever it is, it is much, much larger than anything that we can see on the Earth that would shrink in angular size. Nevertheless, the Sun has been shown to shrink in its apparent size as it gets closer to the horizon. And the wonderful thing about this science is it's something that any one of us can do. Anyone can go out and make an observation of a sunrise or a sunset and see it for what it really is, even if we don't really know what the sun is. We can know by comparing real life phenomenon and doing real life experiments on any scale, large or small, that what we see happening to the sun is exactly what we see happening to any other object that is above us and going off into the distance and it will eventually get cut off at the horizon. There is absolutely nothing that we see that would lead us to believe we are on the outside of a spinning globe rotating away from a massive sun that's 93 million miles away. <clears throat> but then again, it doesn't mean that we have to come up with alternative explanations because nothing has been proven in the first place. So when we are told to have faith in so-called scientific explanations that really don't fit with what we see in reality, it is perfectly acceptable to see what we really see and simply accept that we are seeing the sunset above a stationary level Earth. Thank you very much. Click subscribe and the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications of new videos from Phuket Word.